Hello, I'm Andrew Lissim, and welcome back to this War of Mine. So, night time. Where are we going? I kind of do want to take on more bandits. We can get, you know, their weapons. We can be a good guy. We can basically be Batman. Um, or we could just go get more parts to make more stuff, which we do need to do. I'm actually kind of leaning on the boring side of things and thinking maybe parts are a good idea. Especially since, you know, somewhere like Sniper Junction we can't get to in future. Hmm. Yeah, that sounds like a really good idea. The flip side is we could say, okay, we'll go to something like the construction site, which also has a lot of, you know, parts and stuff. Well, the Sniper Junction does have meds left, and meds would be helpful. Hmm. Lots of food, huge amount of materials, lots of meds. Danger. Danger, okay. Well, we don't have, like, an assault rifle or whatever. We just have the shotgun. So we'd have to definitely play it careful. And that's an ambush situation for us. I think we go Sniper Junction, and then tomorrow night we go somewhere dangerous. We we play it, you know, down to the wire. We get really risky. Something like that. Yep, Sniper Junction tonight. Whoa, I keep doing that. No, Pav. No, 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 no. Yeah, right, okay. Uh, we'll put both Anton and Sveta on guard, because... It doesn't really matter who goes on guard, and I dislike both of them. That said, there is a good argument for looking for food. Uh, well, we do need food. It's, it's pretty simple like that. We've got lots of food at the construction site. Some food at the brothel. Okay. Construction site it is. Let's play it risky. We have a flak jacket, don't we? So, in theory, we'll be okay. Um, guard, guard, sleep, scavenge. Okay. So we need... Shotgun. Probably not that many since we have a shotgun. Uh, we'll stick with 14. Flak vest. Crowbar. Uh, yeah, we'll take that as well. So ideally we've got, you know, everything we need to break into anywhere right now. We've got the crowbar to be able to open up doors. And also cabinets and stuff. We've got that to be able to do the shovel to be able to get through like piles of debris. We have the saw blades to be able to get through the bars. We should be able to go for anything. The only danger, of course, is the fact that, you know, we're going to be attacked. Let's go for it. Now, this location, play it bloody carefully. The developer promised the apartments would be finished no matter what. They didn't plan for a wall, though. You know what? I won't grab the wood. This wood would almost fill up my inventory, but I'm looking for the guys who are actually here and want to kill me. Let's actually go a little bit you know, quieter. Probably not a good idea to run around making full amount of noise when I know there are enemies in the area. Yep, so there they are. And sneak quietly. Okay. We're getting from both sides. Yeah, so they're planning on killing me. <coughs> Oh, pardon me. Blech. Okay, let's just switch over to the shovel and um, shotgun. I don't care about scavenging so much, right? I want to stay alive. We can always scavenge tomorrow night. Specifically, what we're here for, if we can, is, um, well, food. If we can find any food, we'll take it. That's kind of our priority right now. If we can't find food, well, we'll go for high-value stuff. And we can always go for construction components, but you can get them in a few places. High value stuff for trading as well. Okay, okay. We're hiding. What just happened? Did he knock himself out? Oh, they shot him. There was a guy. I don't, I can't wait. You shouldn't have done that. Okay, where are they going? They shot someone. I can hear them, but I don't know where they are now. Okay, he's got nothing on him. I really want to kill those guys now. They're bandits. We, we, we're allowed to fire on them, right? They're bandits. We know that. 
But the issue is, I have no idea where they are. And this place is not high in cover. This place is actually fairly light. Actually, let's try and bring them up here. Let's make noise. There we go. We made noise. Nope. Okay, so they shot a dude who appeared to maybe be unarmed. We didn't really see a gun. Then again, he could have had his gun taken off him. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to continue on. I can't even know where they are. I thought they were ambushing me, but they were going for someone else. Okay. Now, I should make sure I still sneak, but I could just run to be able to bring them to me. But for now, I will uh, I'll just resort to the sneaky sneaky. Okay, let's go all the way to the top. Oh, I didn't check his body, actually, because I'm not in scavenge mode. The scavenge icon wouldn't appear. That's fine. Okay, scavenge mode. Cut through the door. I can't actually get any higher up. This is kind of annoying. I want him central on my screen, but I can't actually pan up. There is the top of the level there. Right, we got to be able to get in here, grab what we want, and then fight our way out. Okay, so the good stuff is here. It's all behind a grate. Hopefully it's really good. That would be exactly what I want. Vegetables, meat, and a tin of food. Yes. Thank you. I will take your medicine as well. Now. Let's consider getting the hell out of here. I don't know where these guys are. Kind of hoping that I'll hear from them before... Uh, we actually end up in a combat situation. Possible I won't though, so we've got to be prepared for anything right now. We aren't very strong. We're, we've got a shotgun, we haven't got an assault rifle. We've got just a vest, no hard hat. So yeah, his, his body does have a uh, looting ability. Okay, so what's he got? Just keep an eye out for movement. A lot of electrical components. You know what? I'll take them. Actually, what I'll do is I'll have to take the pistol as well because I want to trade that. I'll have to go dump stuff nearby. So that his... Because his body will disappear. All right, I need one more electrical component. So I'll maybe just dump an electrical component. Just one. There's a lot of stuff in here. Uh, but we'll dump one electrical component. And we'll dump something that allows us to take the pistol. Um... I don't know what to, what to dump for the pistol. I could probably dump the crowbar at this stage. Because it's, it's nearly broken. But I think there's something we could use it on down below. So again, I'm probably going to end up dumping something like the can... No, I don't want to dump the... Nothing food related. Bandages. Again, I probably want those. Just to keep, just in case. Herbal medicine I can trade. So the bandages, I know because I want them, I can put them back. I know it sounds a bit odd, but get me here that we've got enough bandages to be getting on with. We've got like two. That's plenty for us. We can come back here another time and get this bandage if we need it. I probably will get it like tomorrow night or something. Um, but herbal medicine is good for trading, so we can take that for a trading opportunity. And let's grab the, uh, the pistol. And not be attacked. Okay. Pistol. Electrical component. Exit. Now let's just be cautious about what happens next. Okay. Effectively we want to get here. Right, which way do we have to go? Drop down here, I guess? Yeah. Then we double back. I still don't know where they are, which scares the crap out of me. They could be behind me. My guess is they've gone downstairs to the bodies or something? They have gone a long way. Actually, we should probably go... Oh no, we're running out of time. Go. Crap, I didn't notice we'd run out of so much time. I don't know where they've gone. Um, I really want to shoot them and end the event, but we have to go. Bye!
they're probably gone now. Now, the way that events work in this game, unfortunately, seems to be that if you leave before the event has actually finished its culmination, then when you go back, the event is just gone. It's over. Uh, which is really unfortunate. I would severely like to go back and get those bandits, but... I don't think we'll have the choice. We're probably raided. Yeah, there we go. We're raided. Um, we use five bullets. Bloody hell. You know what I said last time about, you know, the limit really we could go down if it would be five bullets to leave with them. And yeah, we, we've we used up. Uh, it's so frustrating. We, we probably need to upgrade this bench to be able to make our own bullets. It's really early on. It's not even day 20. Very hungry. Okay. How many more? Just one very hungry. Okay. That's fine. Grab that food. Yeah, so many construction components. In a part. And four more electrical components, because that takes four electrical components. That's going to be difficult. Right, so let's just get people downstairs, get them to sleep. Pav, you need to sleep as well, because you'll be going out again. Um, Zathod, you can do the radio. I don't know what I want Anton to do. Probably bugger all. Anything there? It's, it's yellow. Oh, is this the punk music? It just doesn't say anything or something. Extreme supply shortages, yep. Animals have disappeared from the streets. Classical music. Cool outside. Okay, that's it. Well. I don't know what to do now. We'll probably just wait for these guys to switch over, then we'll fast forwards. I'm also going to put some um, fuel in the furnace because we are actually below temperature now. It does seem to be getting cooler. I wish that was something that the radio told me about. In fact, probably did. It was like, oh, it's getting mild, etc. There we go, we're up to an acceptable temperature. I could double stoke it, but I don't think I need to. Who's switching in? Anton's switching in, so we'll leave Anton down there. Zatod, can you come up here and have a look at upgrading the metal workbench? Wait, we did that already. Yeah, um, we need a ridiculous amount. Yeah, okay. Can't make anything anyway. Maybe upgrading the door would help. We're not having problems with actually fighting them off. We're just having problems with the fact that people are using bullets to fight them off. And it's like, well, can you stop using bullets? It's like, well, not really. It's understandable, but bloody annoying. Now, the herb medicine's really just there to be traded, in effect. Glad I have this book. Well, I'm glad you have the book, too. Oh, God. What do you want this time? I've got something for you. Open the door. Oh, it's their mum. Their mum survived. We gave her food. We gave her medicine. And she's alive. Hello. Hi. I want to thank you. Thank you for your help. I feel much better now. I'd rather not think what would happen to the children if you hadn't helped me. We haven't got much, but I saved some coffee for my husband. He loves it, but he hasn't been home for a long time now. He's somewhere out there fighting. Who knows where he can return, so why don't you take it instead? I get... Oh, eight... I thought there's one for a moment. I was about to say, oh, one coffee? Bloody hell. Oh, eight coffee. Yeah. Oh, thank you. So kind of you. I hope you like it. Thank you for helping us. We love coffee over here. We're coffee fiends. I wish that the event where coffee was worth more was going on. But still, you know, we'll drink coffee. Thank you. Are people, like, happy? No? No one's... Okay. Fine. Fine. Whatevs. Um, well, we'll just wait until we have to do our changeover, which will be pretty damn soon, actually. Into the middle of the day. Then I think we we'll probably go straight back out to the same place again. There we go. And we're done. End day. Nothing like a good sleep. True story. Uh, I think we go back to the construction site. Now, just in case that, you know, people are still there, I will take a weapon. I will take a crowbar. I will also... You know what? I'll take a full loadout. I'll take a full loadout again. Uh, which means we won't be targeting construction posts. We'll be targeting the, you know, luxury type items. Um, you know, the things that are really rare. We don't need that many of. Um, I think same as last night. Old man. School teacher. Yep. Construction site again. Prepare. We will take... You, 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 and one stack of bullets. 
Um, I'm taking the tech vest just in case. I, I just... I know they've tweaked events slightly since I last played it. In regards to these events, but I'm not sure if they've changed it, like, dramatically, or whether they've just done something small. I'm just wondering if maybe they've, you know, added some sort of mechanic where the events stick around. There we go, that's a grating. Which, you know, is actually a good thing. It allows us to get rid of my saw blade, so I've got an extra stack free. This door is grated, but I can get through using my saw blade. Yes, Pav. Thank you for the expedition. Um, yeah, let's have a look at the context-sensitive thing. Stench decay is unbearable. These bodies must be months old as they're falling apart. Some bullets holes in their head, but no obvious signs of violence. Are the rebels killed by the army? Prisoners shot by the rebels? Whoever did this tried to conceal the crime by flooding the basement. Maybe they intend to collapse the building and bury evidence under the rubble. Lovely. Just components. It, yes, we need components, but... I don't have the carrying capacity to really make it worthwhile. We wouldn't be able to build anything immediately. And that will allow us to double up on bandages. So I'll take the bandages. I won't take the cigarettes. Doubled up on bandages and herbal medicine already. Fertilizer. Actually, we need fertilizer, so I'll take that. Now I'm going to scout out the entire place just to make sure the event is technically over. We'll take that. Oh, we'll take parts as well. I don't need weapon parts so much. Because I want to be able to confirm the, you know, the event is over so next time I come back, I don't need to be on like Deathcon 25. Actually, 25 would be really quiet. It's Deathcon 1, which is a dangerous one. So yeah, Deathcon like 1.5. I don't know. My metaphor is failing me. And in that case, well, we'll just, um, we'll focus on the mission. Which is going fairly goddamn well, i got to say. Uh, we'll take another electrical component. There we go, we're up to almost four electrical components, which is entire stack. We've got two stacks of parts. Um, the only thing we're not really filling up our stack is fertilizer. Which is okay, we don't tend to find that much fertilizer. But if we don't, we'll be end up using fuel, uh, not fuel, uh, food for fertilizer, and that would be bad. We want to try and keep that. Fertilizer can be used for, you know, rat traps, etc. Which is great. You're always having to use food on that. And it can also be used to grow vegetables. Or otherwise you have to turn the fertilizer into vegetable. Uh, fertilizer into... So the... God damn it. Otherwise you have to turn the food into fertilizer. And that means more food gone. So basically fertilizer is a step in for wasting food. Ugh. I don't even know what I'm saying these days. Oh, I could have got another stack of parts. Bloody hell. These parts are everywhere. Everywhere here. I won't take another stack of parts. We've got plenty to be getting on with. Everywhere. There's also an electrical component. If we can make another stack of electrical components, I... Actually, we probably can. Let's do an electrical component run. Because there's one upstairs, I know at least. Electrical components are difficult to find. And they rarely come in trades. Whereas parts will tend to come in trades, but just, you know, they're fairly expensive. Torn Fly, entitled Proclamation Reads. Here in the ancient capital, Viceni, our home, and no longer abide the oppression. The Republic of Viceni, with its capital in Pogorum, and within borders according to treaty of... Fuck all your treaties and proclamations. Yes. Also, yeah, people have commented, Oh, you speak really fast. And then some people have gone, Oh, that's really good. It helps me improve my English. And some people have gone, I can't understand a word you're saying. Ultimately, yeah, I know I speak too fast occasionally, and I should probably try and slow it down. But also, it helps people's English, so I don't mind as much. That's my excuse. And I've gone down the wrong way. I meant to go up this way. I, f I keep forgetting in a maze like this. Still got like four hours. And I definitely want to make sure the place is clean. Because, you know, that means we can come back in. And we don't have to tiptoe around with, you know, five stacks worth of gear. Or six stacks worth of gear. Also, we know that there is a quicker way out if we go this way. That we can open up by breaking down the barricaded door. So I want to do that as well. Make it much quicker for us to be able to explore. Okay, in here. Did we leave an electrical component in here? I think we did. Bam. There was that bandage, but we've already got two, which is actually a stack. Oh, um, there yeah, we got a crowbar. This as well. Good spot, Elysium. Food and moonshine? Well, I know I'm coming tomorrow. This sounds like a party. I don't need the food desperately. That said, I could have just got rid of the fertilizer now. No, we'll save, we'll save it, we'll save it. 
Let's open this as well. So it's time to come back with a crowbar. Crowbar, crowbar. Knife wrench. I'm slowly getting there. And hopefully we'll find something good. So what's behind door number one, two, three, or whatever this is? A broken assault rifle. Bullets. And a broken guitar. Apparently, as we've seen, broken guitars are fairly expensive. Also, a broken assault rifle is kind of like... Eh. Meh. I, I don't really want the broken assault rifle. I'd repair it and sell it because it makes people use bullets. That said, we've seen use people using like ridiculous amounts of bullets before, so... You know, set, eight, nine, nine, nine ammunition, not bullets. When they have shotguns and pistols. That's a lot of ammunition for a knight. And the most I've had with the assault rifle is also nice. I'm wondering if it's the actual, you know, fire rate is detached from how many people use during a night. Hmm. And yeah, there doesn't seem to be anyone here. We seem to have missed the event again. Which is annoying. I probably should have... No, I, I shouldn't have attacked those guys. It would have been almost suicide from my hiding place. I wasn't behind cover. Nothing here? Okay. We'll break down the barricade. And instead of one fertilizer, I might just take, you know, the free food or whatever. Because free food is technically free fertilizer if I want it to be. So yeah, let's go back up and grab that. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. I just imagine, like, you know, level up sounds as he goes upstairs. That keeps me uh, sane at this point. What's in here? Come on. I looked in here before, but I know what it is. But I'm going to still say come on because I can. Uh, yes, free food. Thank you very much. And in here? Yeah, that was the broken guitar. Okay. Run to exit. Wait, why are you running that way? You're an idiot. Come this way. Downstairs. Thank you. Downstairs again. Thank you. Downstairs again. Seriously, can you... There's a door! You're an... Massive imbecile. Mass. Did we have a look in here? I don't think we did. Just components. Okay. But still, great place to come back to for, you know, future. We want components. We want wood. We also want the miscellaneous crap that's just lying around. They've even got parts if we need more parts. Pav is back. Were we attacked? It would be a second night in the row if we were attacked. Day 20. Curb on crime! Oh, yeah! That makes me happy, considering our bullet situation. Look at all this stuff. We should go bring back so much as any night. We weren't attacked! Celebration time! So, I've been Enter Elysium. We're going to end it there for today. Good times at the construction site. Good times, apart from the guy who died. It's probably very bad times for him. So, you know, if you've liked today's video, please give a like. If you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. That way you get to see more people dying at construction sites and me being unable or unwilling to help them. Well, it's a bit late anyway. Uh, so, yeah. And stay shiny.